Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, according to the Crown Prosecution Service, a hate incident is any incident which the victim or anyone else thinks is based on someone's prejudice towards them because of their race, religion, sexual orientation, disability, or because they are transgender. So, does this count? British businesses have driven the economic recovery in this country with employment at record levels. However, we still need to do more so all British people get the opportunities they need to get on in life. The test should ensure people coming here are filling gaps in the labour market, not taking jobs that British people could do. But it's become a tick box exercise, <laughs> allowing some firms to get away with not training local people. We won't, we won't win in the world if we don't more, do more to upskill our workforce. It's not fair on companies doing the right thing, so I want us to look again at whether our immigration system provides the right incentives for businesses to invest in British workers. That was Amber Rudd speaking at last year's Conservative conference. Journalists were told after her speech that a consultation paper would include an option to require companies to publish the proportion of international staff they employ. Uh, she was fairly roundly criticised at the time. Labour accused her of fanning the flames of xenophobia. Well, we learned from this morning's Times that one academic was so concerned about the implications of the Home Secretary's speech that he reported it to the police which I think she's broadly in charge of. And under a new policy approved by Amber Rudd, it has been recorded as, quote, a hate incident. The complainant is Joshua Silver, and he joins us now. Welcome to the programme. At the Tory conference, the speech of which you complained, she said, we need to do more so all British people get the opportunities to, they need to get on in life. The test should ensure people coming here are filling gaps in the labour market, not taking jobs British people could do. In what conceivable way was that a hate speech? Um, what I have been looking at is to what extent statements made by senior politicians about foreigners can be interpreted as some sort of mechanism, if you like, to help foster the idea in the country against, against the EU. Right. Uh, and that, that's, a, that, that, that's a broad brush approach. It is. I understand that. But what was hateful about Amber Rudd's speech well, uh, on these words? Well, um, I. Those. You've just picked a few words. Well, that, uh, that's the key part of, of, of the well, speech. Uh, the, the briefing later talked about. What, what would be hateful to about looking at companies... It's discriminating to, 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 against... It's, it's picking on foreigners. Why is it picking on foreigners to say that well, British she did people say, she did should say, need to get on in life? She did say there were briefings that she was going to keep lists of foreigners. No, actually, that's not uh, what the briefing uh, was. I was at the, 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 the conference. There was a press report that said that, but it wasn't Well, I accurate. certainly picked up. Uh, uh, sorry, well, so the press report wasn't accurate. No, what, so what the briefing not... was, we had people at the briefing. What the briefing uh, was is that she was thinking, it was an option, didn't actually happen in them, but it was an option to look at a breakdown of companies uh, of what percentage of foreign-born workforce they were employing and uh, British-born. It was roughly an idea that Ed Miliband had proposed himself several years ago. Now, you, you're a physicist, right, at, at Oxford. A labour economist may well find that information very useful to work out where we are failing to give people already in this country of all hues and ethnicities and colours the proper skills. What's hateful about it? Uh, keeping lists of foreigners is something that... But that wasn't what was proposed. Well, you just said it was. No, you no. Well, the proposal was, and I say it was an option that was never done, was to find out if a company was employing 25% migrants or 30%... What do you mean it was an option? What well, are you well, saying? Well, you that's saying... what they said. It was an option, and then, then they didn't proceed. No, but they floated it. Did you, so... did you watch the speech? 
No, I didn't actually see the speech, but I've read yeah. the draft and I've looked at all the feedback that there was to the speech. But it was the speech you complained about, wasn't it? Yes. So you complained about a speech you hadn't actually No, I've read watched. the speech carefully and I've looked at all the feedback. So I, right, I understand the feedback, but politicians, even journalists, sometimes can't be blamed for the feedback itself. Uh, I'm still trying to find out what is hateful about the it's remarks that... Uh, that look, oh, it's oh, discriminating oh. against foreigners. That's what it's Why? about. Well, because you pick on them and say, you know, we, we want to give jobs to British people, not to foreigners. That's not what she said. That was... She simply wanted to find out well, if there's skill shortages and we're bringing people in to well, do these jobs because our own people don't have them, why would you not want well, to give British people these skills? It was interpreted that way. The, uh, the police, in the end, they, 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 they didn't do a formal investigation, but they did record it as a, a hate incident. Yes. Was this a hate incident? Uh, Michael Howard, I was asking you. Of course it wasn't. Um, and I think um, you, you cited Ed Miliband. What Amber Rudd said was no different from what Gordon Brown had said when he was Prime Minister, when he said there should be British jobs for British workers. Though he didn't well, actually, it. that was much more explicit. It, it was. He didn't do anything about it. I'm afraid I think that... Uh, I think Mr. Silver should be thoroughly ashamed of himself because oh, what, he's, really? what he's yes, what he because what he's doing is to bring a piece of well-intentioned legislation into disrepute. The the meaning behind the legislation Professor. is very important. It's meant to deal with hate crimes. No, but it, and Mr. Right. Silver, who's been totally unable to justify what he's done in the face yeah. of your questioning, uh, is is bringing that legislation into disrepute. Uh, I'll give you a quick response, Professor. The response of the public was that this was discriminatory. OK, we'll, uh, we'll leave, leave Have you made other complaints about politicians' speeches? Well, um, no, I'm not a... I'm not a a typical, uh, not a normal complainer, but I have also looked at one other statement. Okay. It's a statement made by Mrs May. Okay. Mrs May st stated that she... Okay. Um, I'm sorry, we haven't... All right, very briefly, but we well, are... Mrs very close May to actually said that she was, in effect, going to expel all foreign doctors. Well, I don't And that was also that. picked up. Yes. We're going to leave it there. I don't remember Mrs. May ever coming close to saying well, that. I'll, I'll but if you take you, it to I'll the police, send you the reference. and I will look forward to it. Thank, Thank you very much, Professor. I've been